So this is end the war on the own house, the war, la guerra, y uh, end the war on us, that's me, because <laughs> I can't sleep in my car. <laughs> Welcome to uh, this community camp out. Yeah! yeah. yeah. And what's the purpose of this? Showing our opposition to the present Santa Cruz ordinance that prohibit sleeping in parks and other public places, particularly at night. The police enforce the laws that the council make, so it's um, it's really it's really up to the council. So city hall is closed to the public. The, the grounds, I believe, unconstitutionally closed because that's where the agendas are posted. It's the center of government. In Santa Cruz. Uh, combined a variety of ordinances in 1978 to create the current Santa Cruz City Camping Ordinance, which contains a section which we call the Sleeping Ban, which is Municipal Code 6.36.010A. And camping, as you can see by our ordinance, means sleeping after 11 o'clock at night. So you can sleep during the day. We want to make sure the courts don't say, what, can't sleep at all? That would be unconstitutional. So instead, we're telling you, you can go sleep during the day, but at night, walk around all night or get out of town. So there became a whole new series of anti-homeless policies passed by um, uh, Don Lane and the other city councilors that uh, showed like there's real hatred for the civil rights of the homeless. And it was that momentum that connected us to the people living on the streets and to homeless advocates to create this movement called the Freedom Sleepers. The Freedom Sleepers are about the rights for the homeless and that's what we're fighting. It's not necessarily about specific solutions. It's about not criminalizing the homeless. Whoa! Protest beginning! If you're homeless, it's illegal to sit down. If you're homeless, it's illegal to ask for spare change. Freedom to breathe in public. And their arrest and the harassment. We have the freedom to sleep in public, freedom to sleep in our own parts. Can you start filling out a second one for him? Sure. Right here, sir? Yeah. <laughs> this is a protest, not an encampment. Please leave us alone. Well, it's okay, Walter. I hope you can get some rest. At least a few hours of rest here. You have your, your protest, at least. Can you please give Mr. Norris one more admonishment? And if not, or issue him a citation, please. Hey, Mr. Norris. Uh, yes, sir. As you know, you are in the park after hours. I am at City Hall, and City Hall is our seat of government. I have a right to be here. And we request that you I understand. And I request that you guys go do some decent work instead of what you're doing. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Norris. Are you refusing to leave? I am staying. I'm not really refusing to do anything. Are you going to leave right now? I have no intention of leaving at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, my officer's going to go ahead and I believe it. Okay. You've been doing that to everybody else. I would appreciate the cooperation of the police in enforcing and not destroying the Constitution, but that doesn't seem to be happening tonight. In the meantime, I wonder if these officers have any place for homeless people to go who have no legal place to sleep. As you may know, shelters are closed. Does anybody have anything to say about that? I don't think so. I don't hear anything. Instead, I see officers writing citations for people who have no legal place to go. That's all they were doing. No one was doing anything illegal. They were just sleeping. Yeah. But as I said, the you know the rules are posted, and you know, we're in a position where we have to we have to enforce them. We can't make exceptions. 
uh, until there's a, a change in policy, and that's where you come in. With that's 20 police know. officers, why is that, yeah. Deputy Chief? Time and, time and we had them here. You may not see that many every night. May not see that. I've never see seen so many police Chief, officers anyway, enforcing, go. I guess, a non Anyway, have a better night. Take care. Hang okay. in there. I guess we'll Hang be seeing you again <laughs> soon. What do you what do we accomplish? I don't see we made any point. First of all, we're gonna we're gonna go to court. I don't know about you, I'm going to court. Perseverance. <laughs> Reconvene. Um, it won't really work for us to have our normal three minute time, so we will reduce the time to two minutes per speaker so that everyone in the line, I think, will have a chance to speak. Otherwise, we wouldn't make it to the end of the line. Council members, my name is uh, Philip Posner, and I am here with homeless individuals and homeless advocates calling ourselves freedom sleepers. We are about to read to you parts of a statement of interest, close quote, filed five days ago and just referred to on August the 6th by our Attorney General of the United States regarding Bell versus the city of Boise. This Department of Justice statement bears witness to our conviction, quote, that sleeping is a life-sustaining activity, and that the enforcement of anti-camping ordinances criminalizes individuals for simply being homeless, close quote. We are here to appeal to you to put yourselves in the shoes of the thousands of men, women, and children. You know, I, I planned on three minutes. I wrote Sorry, this. Sorry, you gotta look at all the people behind you who are waiting to speak. You want to finish the sentence you were on, and then we'll I got on. two more paragraphs. I'm sorry, we won't be able to do that. If the court finds that it is impossible for homeless individuals to secure shelter space on some nights because no beds are available, no shelter meets their disability needs, or they have exceeded maximum stay limitations, then the court should also find that enforcement of the ordinances under those circumstances criminalizes the status of being homeless and violates the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution. Yeah, you're also welcome to uh, sleep out with us and to be awakened at midnight by police advising people uh, that they're not going to be arrested for sleeping or cited for sleeping, but for being at the center of government with protest signs, with petitions, and with voter registration forms. Smearing the poor outside is violent, irresponsible criminals, as you've heard uh, Deputy Chief Clark do, or your... Uh, various commissions do that you've appointed and given prestige and taken recommendations from, expanding police repression against homeless sleepers, those who dare to take shelter in parks or parking lots at night, when the city admits they have not only no shelter, but no waiting list for shelter. Thank you for participating. If you, uh, if you, if you continue to call out, we will ask the sergeant at arms to remove you from the chamber. So. We are freedom sleepers, we shall not be moved. Asking for compassion, we shall not be moved. We only ask for a place to lay our heads down. We shall not be moved. Well, I'm raging about the fact that there's a whole population of some 3,000 people in this town who are not allowed to sleep at night. There's no place for them to go to sleep. Any place they go, they're going to be rousted by the police. And, and I don't know how they expect people to survive like that.
there are people out on the street who don't really have a legal option. And that is, that's really a problem. I, I, I agree with them, that's a problem. I just, the difference is, I don't feel very clear about what the answer is. And that's, that's why it, we don't make a lot of progress on it. But I think it's appropriate that that protest and the folks doing that continue to highlight that challenge because it, it's very real, very troubling. You don't close down City Hall at night. That's not legal. It's the center of government. Particularly when you're trying to harass poor and homeless people. Well, it's true, though. Okay. It's part of the law. So, no, I'm not trying to be unreasonable with you. I'm just trying to tell you what I, know you're, I know what you're saying. I know why you guys are here. Yeah. But this is why we're out here. So I can't even sleep. Thank you. Okay. I guess I'll stay up all night. I'll Is walk around place? town. You guys could recommend where we should go. No I'll sleep. just ride my bike yeah, around town. Yeah, yeah, we sleep. sleep. Huh? Can't there's give a solution. Sorry. You can't give us so so there's space. Not, there's no, no space not one place in the city to sleep. Yeah. The shelters. You can check them in there. No, the shelters are, the shelters are closed. Okay. Those shelters are closed. Did you yeah. know that? Yeah, I did know that. But you have to call around. I mean, there's obviously more than one. Um, like what? Like what? I can't give any recommendations. Okay. You have to call. Call who? Call who? There is not Call anything. Shelters and see what no, there, there is no the shelters closed, right. anymore. There's transitional housing okay. only. There is That's no fine. You're going to have to do some research that. yourself. I'm not here. I, I can't give any recommendations. Done it. Okay. So I just, I'm so sorry. I can't help you. you. There are no shelters here in Santa Cruz anymore. You guys can't be here in the park. We're not going to sign you for camping. So okay? Where can you sleep? Do you realize that I've people have to sleep and this is cruel and unusual punishment? Does it get some punishment? That's the real question. If you're going to drive people away from here, you must give them a legal place to go where they can sleep. Well, we're not going to be at least bothered. And I don't hear anybody doing that. We can do some research tomorrow. Obviously, there's. No internet access for us right now. We can't do any research. What are we supposed to do for tonight? For the meantime. Well, you guys need to leave this place, so that's what we're asking you to do. Otherwise, people get tickets. But there have been thousands, if not tens of thousands, of tickets issued for people uh, for fines ranging from generally around between $100 and $200, which people who are camping out, and we're usually talking about poor people who have no options, this issue is a can of worms and that I'm opening it up. I hope that we will stop the harm of making sleep a crime by fixing the camping ordinance. Um, just a couple other things. I know we talk a lot here about how, you know, it is or isn't the county's responsibility to end homelessness because um, they're the social service provider. I just want to point out that the county does not have a ban on sleeping, that, that we are unique in the, in the county. The, the city of Santa Cruz has a ban on sleeping, but the county doesn't. Um, and so, yes, the county does need to cooperate with solve homelessness, but they're not making it worse. Okay, so um, it, within the city of Santa Cruz last year, we issued a total of 1,913 camping citations. The overall citations for the park rangers is about um, 900 citations. <laughs> more like 90% are paid or more like 10% are paid? Um, I'd be speculating on that. My, uh, my speculation is that, um, you know, uh, a significant number of them are not paid. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Kevin. I, I can actually answer that question. So we did some uh, research on this months ago and we determined that approximately 96% of the citations that are issued go unpaid. I will point out as, as Councilmember Lane did in the very beginning of his presentation that if we leave this ordinance in place the way it is, while we are incrementally, slowly doing little things to try to end homelessness, we are criminalizing. We're, we're making people into criminals who are homeless. We're giving them tickets they can't pay. We're ruining their credit. We're ruining their sleep. We're, um, we're pushing them to go to places that are less safe. If you're a homeless woman that's scared, you can't sleep in front of the police department. You know, if it's okay to sleep, you know, with, you know, in the daytime in a sleeping bag in the park or wherever, but then as soon as it's night, then it's not okay. And that's, you know, that's just like, I just, that, that's really been sticking with me for a long time. Like, why are we doing that? So. Yeah, Micah, and then Don. Ooh, I'll just hey. make the motion. Yeah, well, let's let Don make the motion. So I'll, I'll just move the recommended action to introduce for publication the amendments that were attached to this agenda report. Um, to remove the reference to the act of sleeping and the use of blankets, and I will just include and sleeping bags in this motion just for the purposes of discussion. I'll second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? We'll call for the question. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. 
Opposed? No. no. Okay, that uh, fails uh, two to five with Posner and Lane in favor. And so with that, um, that concludes our evening. I was always one who had this sort of fantasy that you could appeal to the city council and you could, or appeal to the community to press the city council. It was, a, it was such a profoundly obvious and basic issue, the right to sleep, guaranteed by international treaties, uh, part of the UN Declaration of Human Rights, some would say. Sidewalk when I was arrested. Right. He walked over to me and approached me when I was on the sidewalk. It's very oh, aggressive oh, attitude. A little right. tight there, officer. I, I will fix him just as long as you uh, loosen up here. Don't, don't tighten up on me. He's being up. arrested. Robert's being arrested. Hey, get that, get that, uh, right off our eyes, please. Get the light out of our eyes. Israel, what are you being arrested for? They haven't not told me. What is he doing? You failed to identify yourself. I did not. I walked over here. You're not on the camera. You're not on the camera. Put the cameraman away. They want the camera. You can't correct the camera. Give me your ID. Set it down. Give me your ID.